So in today's video, we are going to talk about a response to the number one question I have received since I started doing these Red Komodo and Weeble S videos. And that is, if you use smaller batteries, does that help with the balancing to be able to use not super heavy lenses like the Sigma 18 to 35, but maybe moderate sized lenses like the Tokina 11 to 16? It kind of helps. It kind of works. And uh, we'll talk more on that after this. Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeff Fagan. I'm a filmmaker and director of photography based in South Florida. And in today's video, we're going to talk about using the smallest BP batteries available on the Red Komodo with the Zheyun Weebel S. So the number one question I've had is, Jeff, you know, you're using some of the biggest batteries available on the Red Komodo. And although that's really cool, it makes sense for battery life, what happens with the smallest batteries? And the biggest request was the BP955. But by looking at the dimensions, it really didn't seem to make a huge difference. And then I found out that there are these batteries, which are the smallest batteries that will work and fit on the Red Komodo. But there is a disclaimer, they are not Red approved. So you know, you have to try them with your own risk. You know, things can happen. The camera will warn you when you put these batteries in that they're not red approved. So if you do this, you're trying it at your own risk, but I don't know how easy it is to get these super small batteries right now. Uh, it took me about a week to get them in, even through Amazon. So I just wanted to try them and see how they worked. So as you can see, I have the red Komodo and Tokina 11 to 16 properly balanced on the Weebel S in the normal configuration. Uh, it does work really well. There is one minor thing though, as there was last time I tested, and although you can use it in the normal mode, you are still going to tap the red Komodo at some point with the motor, like you see right here. It does tap the batteries, and it's just a weight distribution thing. These are the smallest batteries available, and you cannot power the Red Komodo from the Weebel S. So if you're using this combination in a normal setup like this, and you're not going to use like the briefcase mode, underslung mode, um, then this uh, combo may work for you. The batteries last me about 25 minutes per battery. Uh, depending on usage, um, what I'm filming. So they do work. So in total, you'll get about 50 minutes from the two batteries right here. Uh, and for gimbal work, that's fine for me. Again, the camera is perfectly balanced and it's nice to be able to use this in its regular configuration. Uh, for most regular modes with the Weebel S, it's been really cool and I can't wait to test it on a short film later this week. So I am very excited that these batteries came in and if they work out well, I may pick up a few more just so I have these kind of gimbal ready batteries on the Komodo when I need to do the gimbal setup and I can use the bigger batteries when I'm on sticks or just on a setup that is more comparable to it. Now, one thing I have been doing is I have been using much smaller lenses with the Weebel S lately. And by using much smaller lenses, I've been able to use the bigger batteries. And actually, even with using the smaller lens and bigger battery combos, I've been able to properly use this gimbal and be able to use all the modes, including the underslung mode. But those lenses aren't quite as good as using something like an 11 to 16 or even a Sigma 18 to 35. But I wanted to do this video talking about using the Red Komodo with these smaller batteries because in a way, yes, it does make it easier to use this whole setup. You do get less battery time and you don't get quite full range of motion just like using the other setups that I've done with the Weebill S. But for those who like the normal configuration, this will help with the balancing and it does work. So it is good to know. And that's going to be it for today's video. If you have any questions about this setup or anything with the Red Komodo in general, feel free to put them in the comments below and I'll get to them as I see them. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you got genuine knowledge out of it, please hit that like, subscribe button and hit that notification bell. It really helps more than you can imagine. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.